Hey everybody, I'm here with my friend Becky Sikonolfi. I always look at your last name. I'm like, no, I'm gonna pronounce that wrong. <laughs> it's a little scary, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> so um, you know, for me right now, I'm I've got some goals um, to hit 158 to start doing some cycling again. I have a very clear vision of it, mm -hmm. and um, as I've been holding on this clear vision come some ideas have come into it, including working with you and so um as a coach sometimes we we make the mistakes of not having other people coach us and help us which i'm massively guilty of and i know a lot of coaches but i chose you to kind of help me um both you're you're in a unique position where you're very intuitive very good with muscle testing all the emotional stuff also super smart on the diet and and working out and everything. And so um, we've been working together today and yesterday on some emotional triggers for me for stress, which I think were very accurate and helped me get a little, um, I mean, I, I kind of knew they were there, but some of the language you gave me was very helpful for me sure. to um, kind of, okay, okay, that's what I need to deal with. And so I have, feel I have a little more clarity on some of that. Um, you know, so we're going to kind of do this project together. I decided to have you as my coach to do this, and we're going to kind of videotape a bit of it. And uh, I also want kind of people to know a little bit about, because you specialize. I don't, I work with sometimes with clients around weight, but I don't specialize it. That's not something I want to specialize it. Right. But that is kind of your niche. niche. What What is your typical client? And um, what are what are your unique skill sets and things you bring to the table if someone's kind of stuck in their fat loss journey sure so my ideal client is is typically somebody that they've tried the calories in calories out they've tried the you know the specialized diets the elimination diets the hormone therapies the whatever and it doesn't work and technically it should on paper but it doesn't work for them so um, what I'm really good at is digging deeper and figuring out what the root issue is, whether it's, you know, a digestive problem, a hormonal imbalance that we can solve simply with food, or if it's an emotional type of program that they, you know, installed at a very young age or a traumatic experience, something like that. I get to the root of whatever that is and kind of help them rewrite, you know, their, their programming so that they can move forward and they can express themselves genetically like they're supposed to. I mean, Genetic tests are great, but they're not the end all be all. Genetic tests are the blueprint, but it doesn't mean you have to follow it. You know, you could yeah. print it every time, you know, at any time. Um, so it, I find that that works really well with people because it, I kind of meet them where they're at and factor in everything. You know, they had a car accident when they were seven. They, you know, they had a traumatic experience with cliff diving at 11, you know, and that can affect the amygdala and other parts of the brain and also change the relationship with food. So I'm looking at everything. Um, so as far as unique skill sets, so I have a degree from a psych college. Um, I'm actively attending the Kalish School of Functional Medicine. And we're uh, right now I'm adding um, to my my arsenal of adrenal fatigue protocols, digestion protocols, things like that, because we're seeing a lot of that post pandemic. I was, oh, yeah. out, you know, like <laughs> everyone's having gut problems. Nobody has energy or motivation to do anything. And Dr. Kalish is teaching the latest and greatest from the Mayo clinic, which is everyone's going to need this. I mean, the, the functional medicine community is going to be like completely overrun over the next 10 years with people that need this type of help. Um, I was, fun I was uh, mentored by a functional medicine doctor for two years, a naturopathic doctor for 10 years. Um, you know, I've got all this practical hands-on experience and, um, I've been practicing emotion code and body code for five or six years. So you put all that together and it's a really powerful, effective combination to help people no matter where they happen to be. Love it. What, uh, tell me, um, tell me a cool story of success with one oh, of your clients. Cool I always love this. Yeah, cool story. <laughs> like, um, oh, that sounds good, but what's the actual benefit? What are we doing? What yeah. are we seeing here? Tell me okay, that. so I've got, I'm, I'm going to have to drink, take a drink of water before I tell you this one. Okay, so cool story. This is recent. So I've been doing this for 17 years, but this one is probably one of my favorites. So um, this lady is a very high functioning CEO. She, um, you know, built herself from, you know, like a, a low level employee all the way up to now she's almost an owner of a company. She's making Boku bucks, you know, whatever. So she develops what the doctors can't figure out or pinpoint as either type one or type two diabetes. So they start calling it type 
one and a half diabetes. They don't know what it is. They don't know where it came from. Um, it just, and uh, they can't get it under control. So she's on metformin, but she's also taking insulin, which is a really bizarre, strange, you know, type of situation. So she was referred to me because she, none of the doctors could help her. She was really tired of getting kicked around and just continuing to get worse and worse and losing more weight, you know, and all these issues. And she was, frankly, she was terrified. So we started working together and I said, okay, this is not a diet problem. And she was like, baffled. She's like, well, you're a nutritionist. I thought everything was diet. And I said, no, 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 no. We need to talk about when this started, you know, um, things from your past, you know, and so on. I said, when did this first start? And she said, you know, this first started three months into, into the pandemic. And it felt like I had no emotional bandwidth left to give. And that's when this all started. I said, okay, so that was your trigger. That wasn't the cause. That was your trigger. So we worked backwards and we found some pretty traumatic um, instances of abuse in her childhood. She was aware it wasn't a repressed memory, but then also some um, compensating behaviors that she had created as a result of the abuse to work hard, people please, you know, become a mental Titan. I mean, you would never know there was, this woman had gone through anything. So we went back through and we helped to rewrite the mental program, the emotional programs and so on. And her doctor slowly started to notice an improvement. And the one doctor said, I don't know what you're doing. And frankly, I don't care, but you need to keep doing it because we're taking you off insulin. And in six months, you're going to be off metformin completely. We can't explain it, but whatever it is, keep doing it. And the lady was like, well, you're not going to explain it if I tried to tell you anyway, but yeah. <laughs> the point is that it's working, you know? Yeah, um, yeah. So that's probably one of my favorite success stories because it was a medical mystery to begin with. And all we had to do was deal with the emotional, you know, underlying causes, um, just yeah. using emotion code, body code. And um, I have a certification in uh, trauma from a local church as well. So we just kind of used, you know, all of those steps and Perfect. you got her to Love you know, it. restore. There's her so health. many people out there who've been told just calories in, calories out. Maybe you're just lazy. I'm like, yeah. Whoever says that, I'm like, have you ever worked with very many people or do you just ignore the people you can't help? Yeah. I mean, like, I, like I'm just baffled that people still spout that as if weight loss is just a simple formula instead of a holistic approach for people. I just like. Oh, I, I agree. I mean, you know, people argue until they're blue in the face about the law of thermodynamics and, you know, it's only calories in calories out. You just have to push them longer on a low calorie diet. And, and the fact of the matter is that would work great when you're 20 years old and you're, you know, your life stressors are, you know, probably about here-ish, but by the time you're 40, 50, 60, whatever, I mean, you're at a emo complete emotional max capacity. You've gone through various life experiences. Your nervous system is frazzled. It's, you know, you've gone through multiple diets. You probably have metabolic adaptation. It's just not going to work. Not the way yeah. that it used to. So, so, you, seen, so people just put shame on you and then you figure, oh, well. Yeah. They just say, well, you just got something work. wrong with me instead of yes. like, no, let's, let's, let's yeah. Anyways. It's, it's exactly, it's, it's not awesome. something wrong with you. So if, yeah. if people want to like, Hey, I've gained a little bit of weight during the pandemic and it's not coming off and my, it just seems whacked what's going on with me. Um, how can they reach out to you? I'll tag you in this Facebook post, but sure. if they see it on YouTube, where are they going to chat with you? So they can email me. So this is easy. It's hello at livehealthywithbecky.com. So it's Becky with an I. So hello at livehealthywithbecky.com. B-E-C-K-I. B-E-C-K-I. Or they can message me on Facebook and just, you know, we can set up a consult and see if I can help them. Cool. Awesome. Well, I appreciate your time and I'm excited to uh, hit my goal weight and I yeah. appreciate the, the few insights we had on how I need to better handle stress in my life. <laughs> we all need that. <laughs> we all need that. So awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome.